All right, so I've been getting a lot of requests for this kind of video tutorial. So today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to install the multiplayer assembly package, my first pack for Torque 3D. So as you can see here, I have a completely fresh copy of Torque 3D here. I just downloaded this from GitHub, so no changes need to be made beforehand. Let me get my pack open. This is all the same stuff, by the way. So the first thing you want to do is um, open up your engine and install the new libraries. Now to do so is pretty straightforward. Just come over here and inside the engine folder is a libraries folder. I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2008 in this tutorial. You may be using 2010. The steps are pretty much the same. So start by going into the crypto pp folder. Actually, we're just going to copy it. Forgive my slow computer. Okay, so that gets the files in for that one. Uh, curl doesn't have any special files, just copy and paste. Alright, so that installs the changes we need to make for the libraries. Now for the source code. All you have to do is pretty much copy and paste here. As documented in the instructions, if any of these files in this console folder ever get changed in the future, in an update, all you have to do is change all instances of UUID with TUUID. It's just changing the namespace so C++ doesn't have a fit and complain about everything like it always does. So copy and paste over. Replace all existing files. And done. Now, as of version 2.0, I have included the master server. I'm also going to add this on right now. If you're just installing the master server, just follow the instructions. I'm not going to do a video on that because this video pretty much covers it. The library has just curl, no crypto. The only thing we need here for master server is the updated server query files. and the changes to the actual server query. So that now has all of our needed files into the actual engine folder. It's not putting them in just yet. Now to do so, we're going to have to modify the tools, specifically the project generator. You can just copy and paste these files over here, replace all instances. So that covers that. So now we have the tools changes added. We've added the source code. So we'll add the template changes. Now we have this. So I'm not exactly sure how to create a new project in the newest version other than just copying and template over. I have the toolbox, but I'm not going to use it. So I'll just copy the full template here.
And we'll just rename this to test project because we can. Now the first thing we need to change is the um, configuration because obviously it's named full. So if you're using the toolbox you won't have to do this, but since I'm not, I'm going to have to do this and then generate my project. Meaning that test project. about right. Okay, so we have that. We have the new module installed, so now we just have to generate the project. And now we'll go into build files. Visual Studio and open up our new game project in Visual Studio. And as you can see, our necessary files are now included. So, first things I'm going to open up the um, pgdmain.h file. This is the um, default settings. I'm going to go ahead and um, flip this on because I will be covering the master server as well. And then we need to open crypto package.cpp. Here is the CA public key. We need to define this later. I'm just not going to change this AES file key because. Um, you can do that for your own project. So at this point, we're pretty much done here. Now we can talk about the uh, PHP side. So I'm just going to sign on here. So new windows. OK. So navigate to the uh, this page here. The link is www.phantomdev.net forward slash cert authority create.php. The link is inside the um, description of the documentation or whatever else you want to call it. As you can see here, here's the code we just saw earlier. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to save. And now we want to open up the PHP folder inside the uh, map main folder. You can see I've included some files here. The documentation is pretty straightforward. I'm going to quickly log on to my website. Okay, so first things first, we need to create a um, new MySQL database and account to go with it. I've already done so, so I'm not going to do it again. I'll just sort of walk you through this process. So create a new database. Um, I named mine, I do believe it's, actually, never mind. Um, I created a database for each of my different projects. You can see them here. So you're going to create a database. To do so, just uh, type a database name here, like my auth system. 
and create it. I'll just do this to demonstrate. And then we need to create a user to go with it. So, oh, user. I would use the password generator. Um, just make sure you remember this. And then, last thing you need to do is add your new user to the database you just created. And then there should be this little checkbox here that says all privileges, just check it, make changes. And now at this point you would um, upload your files in this PHP folder to your website. I would create a um, directory named auth, or A-U-T-H, that's what I have anyways. You can do whatever you want depending on your setup. So you're going to copy and paste the um, admin and my project. You don't need this hash table, that's just a testing file in case you need to test your hashing functions. So. Inside the admin folder, you'll see a globals.php and a sql.php. We just need to make a change to globals.php, and you can do this either locally or before you upload it. First thing you want to do is change this site adder variable to whatever your main website is. So mine is phantomdev.net, so I would change mine to www phantomdev.net, like so. And then I've pretty much documented everything here, so you can read through this if you want, but I'm just going to quickly explain. You don't have to touch any of these. These features are actually going to be uh, removed in the next version whenever I get to that. So here's a template. Now, I would recommend not touching the template, just in case you ever add more games in the future. You're just going to copy this, and paste it, and as you can see, there's this folder called My Project. Now, this would be, you can rename this to My Game, pretty much, or whatever the name of your game is for that purpose. And then what you're going to do is, I just undid that by the way if you weren't paying attention, change all instances of new project with my game. It's the name of the folder you just did. And then as you can see, here's the uh, database. I do believe it was um, auth system, or my auth system. Why did I put suck? And then you would create your, put in your database user. and copy the password here. Um, these two tables. Accounts is where your user information is stored, and account keys is where the account creation keys are stored. I've had a lot of people confused about why there's nothing in account keys when there's something in accounts. Um, basically, account keys is the account creation keys for your system. They will be deleted from the table after they are used. Now, if you want to have a game without this account keys, you have to do a few more changes. I'll probably write a tutorial on that if you want me to. So, with that in mind, save your changes. I'm not going to because this is the actual file included in the pack. Save your changes there, and upload everything here to your web server. So now, at this point, we're done with... Um, the initial setup. So you can either build this now, and I actually will get that started since it does take a little bit of time. And then we are going to go to the PHP My Admin tool. Right 
So at this step, you're going to actually um, create the two tables. I will quickly walk you through that. So the first table we're going to make is the accounts table. It has uh, nine fields, so you're going to type accounts here and nine columns there. And I will show you the structure of that now. So here are your fields. Make sure you um, set them up exactly as so, in this order, preferably. Um, just read through them. It's also included in the video. And then the account keys table has a similar structure setup, except the fields are all text and there's only three of them. Actually, I take the back, they look quite different. So create your two tables. That will serve as where everything is stored and make sure they are named accounts and account keys or whatever you named the um, global variables in that file to. Make sure they match, otherwise you will have some problems. So at this point, we're just going to um, wait for the project to build completely. And if I get an error message, which I am expecting to get, I will show you how to resolve those. suppose I can talk about the master server while we wait for that. Okay. Now master server is just happening. Um, you've already installed tools and engines, so don't worry about those. PHP, there is a master folder. Just upload this directly to your website. And there is a My Game, so you can change the name of that folder, but keep this folder handy in case you have other games later on. Here's the install PHP script. It will walk you through the entire setup. All you're going to do is um, upload that to your web server, and I would recommend using the same database slash user slash password as your account table so everything's nice and neat in one section of your website. As you can see, here's the survival table. Servers is in the same area as accounts and account keys. So just upload it and um, run the script, follow the steps, and at that point you really are waiting for this to finish. Oh, and uh, right, um, define master server in the pgd main.h. This goes to that index.php inside the um, master folder. So you see you have the master folder here, and then my game, and here's index.php. Point it to this file. And now we wait. Here you guys get a lucky. I'll probably put a little skip button up in here, so in the top corner it says skip the wait. At least you guys get to skip forward. I'm sitting here watching the screen, building the solution file by file. It's a very slow process and not very fun.
Not that right away. Console functions. Oh, I'm definitely going to port most of this. If you're running the newest version of Torque, by the way, there is an error in console functions.cpp. Line 33, it says platform forward slash event.h. You need to put platform input event.h. Not pack related, just friendly heads up if you're developing a project and run into that little problem. So, back to this. Uh, I'm also going to open the main loop file now since we are going to be editing this to actually initialize the pack. I am just compiling the engine right now to make sure that everything is running fine before we actually install the C code. And we also need um, T3D, game base, game connection .cpp and game connection .h. Okay, so those are done. All right, so let me just rebuild this. All right. Um, also, unload your uh, NP and IE files. Torque, you disappoint me. Okay, well, I'll let the GitHub people figure that one out, since that's not to do with this. All right, um, just use a older version for now. Um, we'll start with main loop. I'm actually going to open my own tutorial here to go through this. So we're going to be adding a few lines right here, around line 64. So what we need to add is um, this block of code right here. So I'm just going to copy and paste. And there's actually another one you need to add for the master server. It is. Um, Load PGD master. So and then we're going to scroll down a bit to the um, standard main loop init function, and we're going to add a block after this console initialization. So two forty seven ish. So we're going to define those, and there's another master server one here somewhere. I'm lazy, and I'm just going to look it up. Just put that right, oh, whoops. <laughs> just put that right underneath this uh, first one here. It actually doesn't matter, but I just like orderly fashion things. Okay, so next is game connection. So there's a few functions we need to add, and again, I'm just going to go to um, the master server, the documentation. So as you can see, we need to add a few lines of code. We'll start with the header file. And that goes right here at line 42, after all the other initializations. And then we're going to scroll down into the actual code. I'm looking for a specific function. I recommend you use these functions, the fade control function. So damage flash, whiteout, blackout. 
So we need to add this block of code. I would do it right here and hey hey, actually the old off code is there. The useless code as I like to call it. And lastly we need to add the actual new code itself. So I'll just scroll down to the bottom of the file and copy this block of code that's included in the documentation to the file. Save it and build it. Now mine's going to fail because um whatever problem is going on with the engine. But if you have any specific errors like linking errors related to libcmt, to get rid of those just go to project and then properties. And then you're going to go over here to configuration properties, linker, and input. And you'll see ignore specific libraries. Just um, to get rid of those issues, just put a comma and then libcmt and apply the changes. And that will fix any issues with that. Um, other than that, the only thing left to do is the um, actual torque script code, and I'm not going to do that part because it's pretty straightforward. I will show you it though. Um, we would made some changes to the template, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Now what we actually did there was um, added some code to the core can see the two new files. Now we're going to go to connectivity and change this to your website and this to the index.php file of where your authentication system is located. You remember the um, admin folder in the my project? Well it's essentially path to my project slash index.php for that. That'll tell you your game where the server is located and what it should use. The master server has a different approach that's the define and all you need to do for that is copy and paste one um, file over the changes to the uh, join server dialog and basically all those are are the adjustments to the um, the graphical user interface to use the um, updated query functions. So that just about covers it, how to install it. If you have any questions or comments regarding it, feel free to use the forms. And thank you for watching the video, and I hope it helps you install your pack.